Hi, I'm Rajiv Vadikar, Applications Engineer at Cypress Semiconductors. In this video, you will see how to create PSOC Creator project using Easy I2C component of PSOC 3 and PSOC 5. Let us first take a look at the features of Easy I2C component. Easy I2C supports bus speed up to 1 megabits per second. You can keep Easy I2C awake when other resources of the chip are sleeping. It wakes up the device with an interrupt when external master addresses it. You can implement two I2C slave devices using same Easy I2C hardware. The word address, which points to the data in the buffer, can have length of 8 or 16 bits. Easy I2C component behaves similar to serial e square prompt device. Here is the SD aligned signal for the right event. I2C master issues start condition and sends out Easy I2C slave address with right condition bit. This selects the Easy I2C slave connected on the bus, and it responds to the master with an acknowledgement. Master then sends the sub address of 8 or 16 bits, which sets the data pointer in Easy I2C. The data byte sent after the sub address will be returned to the location pointed by the data pointer. The data pointer will be internally incremented after each received byte, so that they are stored in sequential locations of buffer. When master wants to end the transmission, it issues a stop command. In read event, there are two cases. If the I2C master initiates read transaction without providing sub address, Easy I2C will send the data pointed by the previously set sub address value. If the master wants to read the data from the different location in slave buffer, it has to write sub address and then initiate repeat start condition as shown here. This is the write event which sets the sub address in the slave buffer from where data needs to be read. This is the repeat start event used for reading the slave data. When master finishes reading the data, it issues NAK to the Easy I2C slave device, followed by a stop condition. Now that we know how Easy I2C behaves to I2C master commands, let us now start creating PSOC Creator project. This is the top design window of the PSOC Creator project, where you place and interconnect component. You can see all the components here in the component catalog. Under communications and an I2C, you will find Easy I2C component. Let us select and place the component on the top design. The component needs to be configured for bus speed, address and other parameters. In the application, let us use address 4 for Easy I2C slave and assign 512 bytes buffer to it. To configure the Easy I2C component for these parameters, double click on the component which opens the customizer. Easy I2C bus speed can be set up to 1 megabits per second. We will select 100 kilobits per second speed for this project. Note that this just gives the maximum speed. The actual data rate will depend on the SCL clock frequency. Easy I2C can be configured with two different addresses, primary and secondary. This creates two slave devices using same hardware. For this application, we just need one slave device with address 4. Let us configure this. Sub address refers to the word address or offset in the slave buffer where data needs to be written to or to be read from. It can be of 8 or 16 bits. Setting it to 8 limits addressing up to first 256 locations of the slave buffer. Setting it to 16 enables addressing up to first 65536 locations. We are going to create 512 byte buffer for Easy I2C. Addressing of 512 bytes can be done using 16 bit sub address. There are three options for pin selection for Easy I2C. If set to option any, any GPIO can be selected for Easy I2C. There are other two options, I2C0 and I2C1, which uses fixed pins. These two options give added feature of waking up the device from sleep when Easy I2C detects address match on the bus. This option is not available when option any is selected for the pins or when two addresses primary and secondary are set. For this application, pin option is set to any. This completes the Easy I2C configuration. We need to connect port pins to SDA and SCL terminals of Easy I2C slave component. Use digital bidirectional pin component from the catalog. This component is pre-configured with open drain drive mode required for I2C. Now we need to assign the pins for Easy I2C. Open .cydwr file from the workspace. For present Easy I2C configuration that we did, you can select any GPIO for Easy I2C. Let us select pin P56 for SCL and pin P57 for SDA. 
Now we need to build the project. Build process generates all the files required for the design. Now it is the time to write the code in main.c. Component provides predefined functions referred to as APIs available in corresponding .c files. For details of all the APIs of the component, you can refer the component datasheet. Component needs to be initialized first using start API. Open easy2c.h file and locate start API. Copy and paste it in main.c. Next, we need to define the slave buffer. Create 512 byte buffer named myArray in RAM. Let us initialize this buffer with incrementing values. To assign this buffer to easy2c, component provides set buffer API. Once again, copy this API from .h file and paste it in main.c. For this API, we need to pass several arguments. The first argument is the size of the buffer. The second argument is the read-write boundary. If we set this parameter to 1, then master will be able to write only first byte of the defined buffer. Rest of the bytes will be read only. For this application, we will enable master write for all the bytes of buffer. The third argument is the pointer to the buffer. We also need to enable global interrupt, as EasyI2C has predefined code in the interrupt service routine. This completes the component initialization. Let us now do the final build. Program the chip using debug menu. For testing this project, piece of programmer device Miniproc 3 can be used to emulate I2C master. It can act as an I2C to USB bridge. Connect SDA and SCL lines of Easy I2C and Miniproc 3 and also make the ground connection. Connect Miniproc 3 USB end to PC. On the PC side, bridge control panel software is used, which is installed along with PSOC programmer software. This software can send the commands to Miniproc 3 through USB. To see easy I2C buffer data, we will use one more programmer device in debugger mode. The final setup looks like this. Let's start debugging the project. On the left side of the screen, you can see bridge control panel software and on the right side, you can see PSOC creator in debugging mode. On the bridge control panel, you can see two programmer devices listed. One used by bridge control panel itself and another used by PSOC creator. PSOC creator shows buffer initialized to incrementing values. Let's first check if EasyI2C is detected on the bus by clicking on the list button. EasyI2C with slave address 4 is detected. We can now send commands to EasyI2C slave. Let us write 5 bytes of data at sub address 2 of EasyI2C slave buffer. Hold the execution and wait for the watch window to get refreshed. As you can see, the data that we send gets stored at sub address 2. Let us read back those 5 bytes of data that we just sent. Note that we are not sending any sub address. Sub address sent in earlier write command will be used by EasyI2C. Same 5 bytes of data are received by master. If you want to read from a different location, you need to first write sub address and then initiate read command. Let us read 5 bytes of data from sub address 10. 5 bytes of data from sub address 10 are received from EasyI2C slave. This demonstrates how simple it is to use EasyI2C component and to create piece of creator projects. For more details, visit simple I2C slave code example webpage. Here is the code example document which explains how to create simple easy I2C based project. Sample piece of creator project is also provided. For details of the easy I2C slave component, you can refer this document. Thanks for watching the video.